subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. What are you looking at? It's my face. You want to know what happened to my face? You know how it is. There's always plenty of work to do before sailing. It's tempting to cut corners and save time. I'd take a friend of mine named Sanji. He thought it was safe to stand on the guard rail when his ship was in port. Oh yes. He should have used a ladder. Guard rails are not designed to be climbed on in safety. There's nothing to prevent you from slipping off. My friend Sanji gambled with his safety and it cost him more than his dignity. He spent three weeks in hospital. Gambling's about taking a chance. You can win, but you can lose. If you gamble with your personal safety and lose, you risk losing your life or being injured. So don't take chances. Always assess the risks involved. Moving loads are a constant hazard and can appear from nowhere. Hooks and wires can slash out at you and you can slip on oil spills. Dunnage and nails can stab into your feet and legs. That's why protective clothing is so important. It's there to protect you. If you're working out of sight of stevedores or shipmates, you could be in danger. So make sure your supervisor knows where you're working. Don't risk falling into open hatchways. Keep away if you don't need to be there. Avoid using main hatchway ladders during cargo operations because you could be struck by moving cargo and lifting equipment. It is better to use indirect access to hatches if your ship has them. Cargo lifts can damage hatchway ladders, so always check their condition before using them and all access routes should be kept clear of obstructions. Report any obstructions to your supervisor. A clear mooring deck is safer than a cluttered one. Make sure that mooring lines are not obstructed. Whether he uses a helicopter or a boat, the ship's pilot needs a safe area for boarding and disembarking. Don't allow any deck cargoes to obstruct the safe passage of the pilot. If the lighting is bad in cargo spaces, use a portable lamp. Because if you can't see where you're going, you don't know where you're going. Portable ladders should only be used if there's no safer means of access. Stove faces should only be climbed with rigid portable ladders, which should always be secured against movement. Keep any equipment attached to your body to keep both hands free for holding the ladder. You should report any dangerous conditions aboard ship. Also anything that may prevent safe cargo handling. If you see stevedores being careless, not wearing a hard hat in a designated area for example, or equipment being misused or overloaded, report it before it's too late. Stevedores should leave the ship in a safe condition when they finish work. Rails should be reinstalled and hatch covers closed. If you see anything on the deck which could cause injury, report it to your supervisor. Heads and tails. What is it? 
heads or tails? Is this spillage just a harmless liquid or is it a hazardous chemical? Heads or tails? Are you willing to take a chance? Is it harmless or hazardous? You should assume any leak is hazardous until you know otherwise. Check any leaking cargoes for hazard placards and report any suspicious leaks. For your own safety, get to know the location of hazardous cargoes. Fortunately, this was a harmless spill, but cargo spills add to the dangers of slipping and falling, so they must be cleared up quickly. The same applies to hydraulic leaks from deck machinery. If you suspect a gas leak, evacuate the area and report it. Only authorised crewmen should investigate the suspected gas leaks with proper gas detection equipment and protective clothing. If a smoking cargo is placarded as dangerous, be prepared to retreat to a safer area. Don't tackle serious fires without proper protection and equipment. Assess the situation and the possible dangers first. Keep to the designated areas for smoking, especially when carrying explosive or flammable cargoes. Stows of cargo can move about at sea. Take care when walking through cargo spaces, for example at lashing inspections. Do not go there in bad weather. Always use the designated walkways and ladders. If cargo breaks loose at sea, it may need resecuring. Report any incidents like these because an officer should always supervise this type of work. About my face, let me tell you what happened. I was a ship's electrician. I was going on shore leave. I was in a hurry to finish a job on the deck. I didn't want to go all the way down to the control room to isolate the power. I just wanted to finish the job quickly and get ashore. So it wasn't loose cargo, it wasn't acid or anything like that. It was simply a bad move I made. So take my word for it. Don't gamble your personal safety. It's not worth the risk. Safety isn't a game of chance. You always have to assess the risks involved. Staying alert to personal safety is the only way to win.